All right, so I'm gonna get ready to paint the axle. I got it all hung up here, as you can see. I uh, taped the uh, parking brake shoes off. So those are all set. Uh, lug nuts, I mean, the, lug, the studs are all masked off too from sandblasting, so I think we're all set, ready to go. Um, yeah, so let me get the paint mixed up and we'll start painting it. All right, so it might be a little bit noisy here. I gotta turn the booth on, so uh, I might mute it out or I might uh, fast forward it, so I'm not sure yet, but it will be a little bit noisy, so just to let you know.
right, so here's the finished product. Sorry about the noise back there. I got one fan running instead of two. So I'll try to quiet it down a little bit, but it came out pretty good. Put two coats on it. Um, I'm actually pretty happy the way it looks. It's pretty good, I think. So I was going to dry it to a satin black, and uh, what I also did, I did the uh, the hangers for the springs. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm hangers, but they go for the leaf springs in the back, so the brackets there, those are done. Oh, that was pretty nice. Uh, brake calipers, not the calipers, but the holders for them, whatever you want to call them. Those are done. And I did the timber rooms also. That's good, now I can start putting it back on, so that's it for now, I'll see you guys later. All right, so we're all set now, I got everything cleaned up. Um, I cleaned the holes out up here. Got all that cleaned up, got all the rust out of that, reprimed it, so now I'm just gonna get some uh, satin black on it. I got the paint all mixed up, so we're good to go. So let me get that done.
All right, guys, so sorry about the noise here. I turned one booth off, so we got one running. So, uh, this is a finished product. Uh, I didn't go very thin, I, I put a very heavy coat on it. Uh, it's not running, but definitely a nice heavy coat. Seems to come out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So, um, here's the other one. Let's get up in there. So, not bad from what they looked like before. You've seen the old video of how rusty these things were. So. And I also did the um, the bolts that go in here too. I sprayed the bolts and then, and then up for that too. So, all right, let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, hey, welcome back today. Another day of working on the truck. Uh, today I've got my leaf springs and my rear axle over here. So, uh, as you can see, I've got some new energy suspension system parts. Uh, these are just the um, the bushings that are going to go into the leaf spring. So let me get started on putting those in. And uh, we'll go from there. This is actually what came in the box here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of the, uh, the urethane bushings, which are going to go on the springs. And some of these things here, the sleeves that go inside. There's some smaller ones here, but I'm not going to use those because I really don't need them because the uh, new spring hangers have new ones anyway. So I'm not going to bother taking the new ones out just to put those in. So I'm just going to use the big ones for the leaf springs and... And that's it so let me get started all right so those are all pushed in as you can see uh, i tell you it went a lot easier with that uh with that uh i don't know what you call it some kind of clamp here <laughs> my estate seal clamp it worked out perfect so um next up i want to try to see if i can get one of these mounted into the frame over there before i go home so uh, let me get started all right so what i did i had i put the uh put the rear on first because it was a lot easier to put on and I got the floor jack up here. Let's see if we can get that one in. Yeah, it's really, really tight. So I'm gonna try putting some uh, a little bit of grease uh, on here and on there. See if I can make it go in. All right, got some lithium grease here. That's about all I have. So maybe if I spray it up a little bit, maybe that'll help it go in. I think what I gotta do is I gotta get my uh, clamp back on here and reclamp this, push these back in a little bit farther. I think it'll go in. So let me get that clamp. I'm not sure if that's going to do anything, but we're going to try it. No, so close. So close. So let me, uh, let me figure out what I got to do. I might have to, uh, I don't really want to spread these apart, but there might be too much paint on here. I'm not sure. So let me fool around just for a minute and see if I can figure it out. All 
All right, so what happened? A very simple fix. The, the pad on here, the jack, was hitting this part in the back over here. So what I was doing was I was lifting the whole frame up, and uh, it wasn't lifting the spring in the place. So now, now it goes right in. So I think we're pretty good. And uh, it's closing that way. Yeah, perfect, huh? That's, that's really nice. So I'm just going to hand tighten them for now. And uh, i got to head out now, so I'm gonna, I'll finish this up later. But I'm happy I got at least one spring in. I call that, I call that a pretty good day. Yeah, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Here's the back of the spring here. And what I did, I actually bought new spring hangers. Uh, these came from Rock Auto, and it came with the exact hardware the, from the factory, so it worked out really good. And it came with, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it here, it's, uh, it's a little thing here that keeps the bolt in place. So it came with that, the hardware, and it actually came with the new bushing that goes in the leaf spring. Um, but I didn't use this because, you know, it's just a metal sleeve, and uh, it's not what I want. So I put the, the other bushings in there, and actually the, the ones up here. This, this one up here has the bushings in. I didn't swap those out. Um, it's gonna be fine for my lifetime, you know, so. Uh, that's that, so let me get this thing buttoned up. I'm just gonna hand tighten it as much as I can, and uh, I'll move on to the other side, and we'll get the other spring on and go from there, so hang on. <laughs> 